We are recording the session. Um, we haven't quite decided if we're gonna put up all the early shows, but just so you know, we're recording the session. Um, just, just so you know that that is happening. Um, so hello everyone, welcome to the early show. My name is Amy Tan and um, I'm on the steering committee and I'm just so happy to welcome you to our fourth day of Open Ed 20. I'm here with my co-host Winnie Zhang and my two special guests today, Tiffany Reardon and Danielle Hyatt. And I'm gonna let them introduce themselves. Go ahead, Winnie. Okay, hi, um, I'm Tiffany. Um, I am uh, part of the steering committee. I'm the person who has been um, wrangling captions the whole conference. Um, <laughs> and uh, let's see, I'm in Athens, Georgia. I work for Affordable Learning Georgia. Um, but yeah, that's me. My name's Winnie. Uh, I am co-hosting with Amy and also similar to Tiffany, uh, running around in opening rooms. So if you're a session host or uh, you're a speaker, you've seen me uh, coming in and out of the rooms. Uh, hello everyone, this is Daniel Hayat. Uh, so I'm here in Pakistan. So it's night over here, although it's uh, morning on your side. So basically I work as manager industrial linkages and uh, technology transfer at uh, with the academic sector in Pakistan. I'm also part of the steering committee uh, at the Open Education Conference. Um, so I'm really excited to be talking to you guys soon in this session. Thank you. Wonderful and welcome to all of you. Um, thanks again for, for putting us on your schedule and joining us um, in some parts of the world. I know it's really early in the morning. Um, so today we're gonna talk a little bit about things that are happening um, on the social calendar. We're gonna play around with Zoom a little bit and Danielle's gonna lead us in an engaging game. Um, but to start with, we all brought a mug to share with all of you. And so we're going to show you our mugs I'm where, I, where I'm learning how to do the camera. So, okay, so here's all our mugs. And so we're going to take a minute to tell you a little bit about why we chose these mugs. So I'll start. Um, I hope you can see mine is a, it's blue with stars on it. And this is my Lone Star State mug. And I'll tell you, when I got this mug, um, it was my honeymoon. Um, and I went, we went to San Antonio and we were on the river walk eating at a restaurant called the Republic of Texas. And they had these mugs for sale. And so um, we bought this mug and I've had it ever since. And it just, it, it makes me really happy to think about that time in my life. So which mug did you bring Winnie? I brought a little mug with mustache on it. It's um, it's so interesting to hear your stories, Amy, because we live in the same city um, and we met through this conference. So when she's saying Riverwalk and stuff, I'm thinking all of the memories I've had at the Riverwalk growing up and with my partner. Uh, so yeah, so my mug is a mustache mug. And then on the back, it actually says Winifred. I don't know if you can see that. <laughs> Fred. That is not my full name, but that was my nickname in high school by my friends. So this was a Christmas present by one of my friends. They actually made it for me uh, and had this little one and I've kept it ever since. Um, they made it in high school. So it gives me great memories from back then. Tiffany? Um, oh, oh, okay, Tiffany, yeah, you go ahead. <laughs> um, okay, I was going to say you can go if you want, but um, okay, so this this mug um, is from the last institution that I taught at, Kennesaw State University. Um, they have a student organization called the Mudslingers, and they, uh, they make ceramics, and then they sell them twice a year, and so I used to always look for them so that I could buy a mug, and I finally found them once when I had money, and I bought this mug, so it's handmade by students. Okay, so this is my mug. It's uh, blue in color uh, with the reddish uh, liner over here. Uh, this was gifted to me by my uh, granddad because it's made. It was made by uh, his company. He is not with us anymore, uh, but he gifted to me. I have a very personal touch with this because he gifted to me with a note, uh, which said in the local language, So it's a Pashto. 
a sentence which uh, translates somewhat to uh, may love find you where even in a place where you least expect it. So I still have it with me. So that's my story with this mug. Wow, that's really beautiful. Uh, the mugs today were all really meaningful. So um, that's perfect for our Thursday. Uh, and and it is, it's going to be a meaningful day for all of us, I hope, at the conference, talking um, more about social justice as our theme. Um, and Winnie's going to tell us a few things, for, uh, a few fun things that we're going to be doing today. Yes, so uh, our first tea time at 1130 is just a tea time for you to stretch practice some self-care, grab a snack. Zoom fatigue is definitely real, so go and do that. And uh, at 1.30, we will have an opportunity for you to take a tea time or be connecting at tea time where you'll be able to join the conversation with Daniel, Spencer, uh, MJ Bishop, and Terry. And then during the next tea time, we are bringing back yoga today. Uh, if you missed the first Monday yoga session, this is our last yoga session. Uh, it was wonderful last time, so definitely give it a check uh, at 3.30, check it out. And then that'll be our, our plenary will happen, and after our plenary, we'll have a tea time with the uh, plenary members, and so you'll be able to have a conversation right after. And what I'm most excited about is karaoke, which is a open ed 20 uh, uh, trend. It is something that happens every single year. We almost thought it wouldn't happen this year, but Jeff Gallant made it work. And so we will be having karaoke virtual version. Uh, very excited for that. And that I believe starts at 730. Fantastic. I myself cannot wait for Carrie Oyarki. <laughs> Everybody has to figure out how to say that. So, so Tiffany is going to tell us a little bit about her adventures with Taco Tuesday. Yeah, so um, on Tuesday, so Monday and Tuesday, we had a little bit of a competition on Discord um, where people shared their favorite taco recipes. And the idea was um, that the winner, um, I would make their stuff on uh, live Zoom on Tuesday night for dinner. And so we had this um, competition and the the winners ended up not being tacos. <laughs> um, so we had our first place winners were actually margaritas. Um, and I had, I also need to eat. So we added a second place winner um, and it ended up being um, enchiladas and they were like the best enchiladas ever let me tell you um, <laughs> so we made the enchiladas were like black bean and cheese uh, they were supposed to have veggies in them but I'm weird and picky so I just did black beans and cheese and then but the sauce was amazing um, the whole the whole thing was amazing the sauce was amazing though um and then the and then we also did um, the margaritas, um, which I ended up swapping out um, the alcohol in. But the they were both first for me, so it was really fun. And we just sat and we chatted for like an hour and a half, just like watching me cook. It was great. So <laughs> um, yeah, it was entertaining. There's pictures in Discord if you're interested in how good these enchiladas looked. Um, but yeah. That was our adventure. It was super entertaining to watch. And I, I thought you were very brave, Tiffany. I, I was very impressed with your two camera setup and everything. Um, something else that you should know about Tiffany is that she has been um, a strong advocate to um, foster accessibility at the conference. And she's been working very hard behind the scenes to make sure that we have captioning. Um, and, and we've had some We've had some hiccups with the machine captioning, but she's been back there trying to solve all the problems. So I, I Tiffany, do you want to say a couple things about mm -hmm. that or? Sure. Um, I mean, we, so we, we had planned, um, we have both human and machine captioning at the conference, um, depending on your session. So like right now we have um, a human captioner who is doing fantastic, keeping up with us and, <laughs> Um, then we also have our machine captioning 
machine captioning has been giving us some technology glitches though. And so um, I've actually only, aside from ones where I'm actually presenting or hosting, I have only attended one session the entire conference <laughs> um, because <laughs> I've been uh, just like Winnie, um, we have been jumping around to every session before they start to make sure that everything is doing what it's supposed to. Um, I think that we've only had about four or five sessions total that have missed their captions, though, which I think is pretty good given the technology issues we're having. So, yeah. And, and I think, Tiffany, we're also like, if we miss it, we're also uploading, when we upload the video, we'll manually go in and add captions. Right? Yeah, so um, for sure, if, if, it, if it was machine, um, I don't, we haven't had any problems with the human captioning, like none of the technology has failed us there. So, but for the machine ones, um, if it missed, if we weren't able to get yours working in that session, um, the recording will get the YouTube machine captioning, which is just, it's a, about the same quality. Um, and so, yeah, for, we'll, we'll have something. Um, but it just, if there's a, if there is an issue with the live captioning, then um, you'll always be able to catch it on the recording. Um, we, and we also invite um, conference attendees to send us suggestions for how we can improve. And if there are any issues for, about any, any accessibility issues that we, you know, we want to hear about those and do what we can to create accessibility. Um, so um, now I want to, I want to, um, recognize um, Daniel and, and ask him to tell us a little something about himself. Okay, so uh, I'll briefly uh, tell you guys about my journey with um, open education. So from student life, I was um, involved in advocacy about the involvement of the young people in policy making because uh, here in Pakistan, we have 65% of the population of Pakistan is young people. So we have always been um, raising voice to include these young people in the policy making because they are the future of, uh, of this country. So with this, I was also advocating for education and uh, I learned about uh, open education from uh, one of my friends who was working with uh, uh, IFMSA, International Federation of Medical Students Association. So I learned about it from them and, uh, in 2017, I guess, yes. And I applied for open con back then. So uh, although I did not get visa to participate uh, in that conference, but uh, I was engaged by the community who were organizing the open con conference. And since then, uh, I believe that I, I'm a really lucky person that I have been mentored along the way. I have learned a lot from this community. I have uh, uh, been engaged in different capacities uh, as a participant, as a speaker, as a part of the organizing committee, uh, as an advisor for the Open Access Week. So, and throughout, uh, I believe that uh, uh, being a person from a developing country like a Pakistan and being able to learn from all, uh, all the gurus of open education or uh, in a conference like this and being able to contribute in my local community, it's, it's a great honor for me. It's a, it's a great uh, pleasure for me. So this was uh, my journey with open education here in Pakistan. And uh, one last thing that I would like to mention that because of my advocacy, since I have a, a circle of young leaders with me, uh, so uh, the government recognized our, uh, uh, our uh, uh, contributions and they started a program, the Prime Minister Office of Pakistan, they started a program in which they started distributing 1 million laptops to the young uh, people, the young researchers, young scholars. With that, they also started providing online courses with that and access to internet because these are the basic principles uh, uh, which uh, paves your way to the uh, concepts of open education. So that was kind of a revolutionary thing uh, that uh, I see that uh, because of uh, mine and the colleagues with me who are working with me, because of our efforts, uh, the government uh, took a start on that. So yeah, that's... Uh, uh, what I wanted to share with all of you. So, thank you. That is amazing, Danielle. I'm real. I mean, I'm really thrilled to hear about the work that that you're doing and and um, the the progress. I mean, that that's that, and it's it's incredible. And um, 
we re we're just so glad to have you as part of the steering committee. Um, and, and I see um, we have a student from IFMSA here in the audience. So maybe, maybe um, I hope I say your name correctly, Bezowit, maybe Bezowit can help us kick off our game, Danielle. Okay, I'm ready. <laughs> Hi guys. <clears throat> so shall we go ahead with our game? So I think that's uh, this, uh, the, the special guests and the organizers have talked enough. Now we want to hear from all of you. So the game is uh, basically, it's called 15 seconds, blah, blah, blah. So the, in 15 seconds, um, all of you are, exp not all of you, but whoever is interested, uh, they should uh, talk about their, uh, what are they expecting from today? Or what have they learned from this conference so far? Uh, have they met anybody who would they, who, with whom they would like to collaborate in the future? Or they have already started sort of collaboration. So your impressions, your reflections on this conference so far and expectation, please, that's right with you. Okay, should I start now? Yeah, you should. Okay, uh, so yeah, um, this is my first conference and uh, being full in a room full of like professors, librarians, I thought it was gonna be scary, but it was actually nice. Uh, I got to meet and interact with a lot of people. Uh, that's all fun. <laughs> awesome, brilliant. So. Uh, that was uh, a good reflection. You got to learn from new people. And anyone else would like to take a lead and share their impressions and reflections? Wake up, guys. It's morning. Come uh, on. I'm on the part of the world where it's night. So I'm supposed to be the sleepy one. You guys have to wake up. Come on. Share your stories. All right. I'm awake. At... Sorry, <laughs> um. What I really liked about this, because I've learned at Computer Lab, it's been really easy to find things. Like there's just a link and I go and I'm in the room and I'm always five minutes late because, it, you know, but it's just been so easy to get to things. Awesome. Cool. Anyone else? FYI, by the way, it's also very late here, so I can relate. Yeah. I'll say something. Um, I learned about IFMSA, and uh, I keep hearing that uh, group of letters, and I finally wrote it down. Uh, wonderful people. Glad you're here. Yay. Thank you. Yeah, IFMSA is a brilliant organization, very active organization of young leaders. So. Uh, uh, they have inspired me a lot, and that, that was the organization from whom I learned about open education. So anyone else would like to uh, take a lead here? It looks like um, Anita has a hand up. Sure. I wasn't sure if it was hand up or just jump in. Yeah, sure. Hang on, I'm trying to get the timer to start. Come on. Or oh, do you start it? Oh, there it goes. Okay. So uh, I'm at Salt Lake Community College in Utah, and this is my first time at the conference. And I'm really impressed and thrilled at how you've integrated the video with the social media. I'm loving Discord. Um, and that's it. Cool. Great. Okay. So do we have anyone else who would like to share the impressions? Hi. Um, I Can you hear me? Yeah. yeah, I always thought that OER was just about affordability, and I'm pleased to learn that it's more than that. It's about uh, culture and diversity and equity all together. So it's just affordability. So I learned that much. Thanks. Awesome. Yeah, affordability. Cool. So uh, I think there are more women who are participating and less men. So come on, guys. Come on, men. Let's balance it. Let's uh, talk about uh, how, how we can balance the gender over here. So we need some gender balance over here as well. We need more male speakers. Come on. Hello. <laughs> How's it going? Yeah, Jeff. You would like okay. to take Oh, sorry. Uh, yeah, yeah, sure. Let's go. 
Uh, so uh, every single time I go to open ed, I learn more and more about social justice. I've heard about all the experiences uh, from people of color and women that just really helps me bring back a new, a newer vision of equity to Georgia. Awesome, great. So uh, Winnie, are, 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 are these enough of uh, the games and the impression or shall we, can we take more uh, impressions as well? Uh, it's up to you. Do you want to do the other games? Um, okay, so let me let me uh, think uh, which game can we? Okay, guys, let's <clears throat> let's do uh, some a little bit of physical activity because uh, I think uh, maybe you guys like it. Okay, so there is another game that I have for all of you. It's uh, coordination between your brain and your hands. So what all of us are supposed to do. Uh, can, uh, can I request uh, if, if it's, uh, uh, you know, like convenient for all of you to turn on your cameras because it's something that we are supposed to do on the camera. Awesome. Okay, we are getting some cameras on. So the game is like this, that I'll have to ask all of you to draw uh, a shape on the screen. So it can be like a circle. So we are supposed to do it in a synchronized manner. We can do it like a triangle like this. So, okay, so let's start. And then later on, I'll be turning, making more difficult by using two hands. So let's start with the one hand. Uh, I want all of you to show your index finger like this. Now let's draw a circle. Yeah, nice and slow like this. And now let's make a triangle. So here like this. Great. So now shall we increase the difficulty level over here? Who is ready to increase the difficulty? Show, uh, show your hands if you want me to. Okay, great. Let's use two hands. Okay, I want you guys to use this index, index finger to draw a circle and simultaneously with this one, a triangle. So let's try. <laughs> okay, I'm not good at this one, but let's try. <laughs> I, I, I lost the track. <laughs> okay, let, let's no, make. I let's... pretended I was tracing one. It almost worked. <laughs> I like pictured one. <laughs> okay, let's make it a little bit simple. Let's make a square with both the hands, okay? So like this, this, <laughs> this. This one is comparatively easier than the previous one. We're gonna have to cut this part out of the recording. <laughs> wow. Okay. So, so definitely doing the same at the same time is easier. I can't do the off like I, man, you've got to have some really amazing synapses in your brain to make your hands <laughs> do opposite shapes. But Danielle that Danielle, that was lovely. Thank you so much for leading us in some morning and um, energizing games to get us ready for our sessions. Um, we have about two minutes left. Um, in our show, and I realized that we completely forgot one of our segments, um, and we may have lost Tiffany. Where did she oh, she's here. There she is. Okay. She just moved around on my screen. So, um, so one more thing that, that, that we hope you'll find engaging. Um, if, if you downloaded the latest Zoom software, we have discovered that there are filters in Zoom now. So if you have, um, if you don't have teenage children or children, small children with smartphones to show you about Snapchat, um, then you might not know what filters are. But filters are, they actually put the image um, on your, your, um, your video or your photo image. So if you go to your stop video, and you or start video and you click on the up arrow, there's a menu there and you can see that they're, um, they're under cho choose virtual background, you can choose video filters. So, oh, Danielle turned himself upside down. <laughs> so, um, so we've been playing around with these. So um, we invite you to, to pick your favorite filters and join in the fun. 
This one makes me feel oh. like Frida Kahlo. This is this is interesting. <laughs> what am I? Alien? I think you're supposed to be like an ogre or a cyclops or something. <laughs> A minion for a minute, and then I saw my ears, and I was like, that's not a minion. <laughs> I like this one where it looks like you have a bite. The bite is like I'm eating the lollipop. This is me this morning. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, we need to we need to wrap it up because people need to get to their concurrent sessions. I just want to remind you all that we do have concurrent sessions beginning um, in five minutes. Uh, the plenary today, I hope you'll all be able to join us, will be titled um, Applications of Open Education in Social Justice, Inclusion, and Anti-Racism with our speakers, Jesse Lawyer, Jacqueline Meshelmaya, and our moderator, Jasmine Roberts. And that will be at 3 p.m. Central and 4 p.m. Eastern. Also, don't forget to join Emily Reagan and Haley Babb for the Late Show this afternoon with very special guests, Daniel Williamson and Nicole Allen, who will do a virtual wine tasting for us. So um, again, thank you so much for joining us. And we look forward to running into you the rest of the day at, at various conference events. So have a great day. And guys, just a quick question. Where could I find the recording of the videos? of the sessions so we're of the tea time. Them, we're posting them on shed as soon as we can 